Hello people, welcome back. This question is from GATE 2003 exam. It's for two marks. So let us first read the statement. It says, the following is a scheme for floating point number representation using 16 bits. So have a look. First bit is for sign. Then we have some bits for exponent. And then there are some bits for mantissa. Let S E and M be the numbers represented in binary in the sign, exponent and mantissa fields respectively. Then the floating point number represented is, okay, so you can just have a look at this formula. They are asking, what is the maximum difference between two successive real numbers representable in this system? Okay, so before discussing the solution of this question, let me discuss some basics. See. If you have some number 5 into 10 raised to the power 0 and say next number is 6 into 10 raised to the power 0. What is the difference between these two numbers? The difference is 1. Okay. Now if you have these same numbers 5 into 10 raised to the power and 6 into 10 raised to the power but the exponent is increased. Now suppose exponent is 4. Okay, what is the difference between these two numbers? The difference will be 10,000. Okay. That means as we keep on increasing the exponent, the difference between two consecutive numbers also increase. Let us see what happens if we decrease this exponent. Suppose it is 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 and 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. Now these numbers are very small, okay. The difference between these numbers will also be small. This is actually 0.005, this is 0.006. So the difference will be 0.001, okay. That means in this scheme also, the difference will be very small for negative numbers, okay. For the minimum number possible in this scheme and the next number, the difference will be smallest. And for the largest number possible and number one smaller than that, the difference will be maximum. They are asking what is the maximum number, uh, difference. So we need to analyze these two numbers. Okay, the largest number and number one less than that. You can see if you choose any small number, it can be very precisely be represented. Okay, but suppose if you choose some number here, it will be rounded off to this value or this value. Okay. So large, rather very large numbers cannot be precisely represented in such schemes. Now, for example, here it is 10 raised to the power 0. So difference is 1. It is 10 raised to the power minus 3. Difference is 0 0.001. Here you cannot just guess the difference simply based on the value of exponent. See, because these numbers can have some digits after the radix point also, okay. Suppose this is 5.1, this is 6.1, then the difference will be something else, okay. So we need to analyze these mantissas also. So let us see what the scheme is saying. Some of you might get confused by looking at this formula. There is nothing new. Believe me, it's very similar to IEEE. Uh, I triple is single precision or double precision. This seems new but isn't actually new. 1 plus m into 2 raised to the power 9 is simply 1 dot m. This is what we have in I triple e schemes. Okay. See in I triple e it is sine minus 1 raised to the power sine into 1 point m into 2 raised to the power e minus bias. Okay. Here also, if you solve it, see, mantissa is a 9-bit number. Suppose at any given time, mantissa is 0, 1, 0, 1 and something, okay. It is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. These are the 9 bits of mantissa. Decimal point or the binary point is here, okay. If I multiply it by 2 raised to the power minus 9, it will become this, okay, this radix point will shift here. And if I add 1 to it, 
दिस इज सिमिलर टू राइटिंग वन पॉइंट एम ओके नाउ लेट्स एनालाइज वॉट इज दिस बायस इन आई ट्रिपल ई दिस इज ऑफ एट बिट्स ओके एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग वन ट्वेंटी एट एज द बायस वैल्यू दैट इज द मोस्ट नेगेटिव नंबर दैट कुड बी रिप्रेजेंटेड विद एट बिट्स we take 127 as the bias value okay see this is most negative number that is representable in 8 bits that is minus 2 raised to the power 8 minus 1 yeah this so we don't consider this number as bias rather we take 27 here we have exponent of 6 bits most negative number possible is 2 raised to the power 5 rather minus 2 raised to the power 5 that is minus 32 okay so instead of taking bias value as plus 32 we are taking it plus 31 okay that means while saving a number plus 31 will be added in this exponent and we are subtracting that plus 31 you know, like minus 31 to retrieve the value okay now let us just find out the answer quickly see we don't want this combination that is the reason we are not adding 32 as bias you please watch my videos on i triple e you will get to know more about this if i just go on discussing this video will be very long okay now see for the biggest that biggest value representable in this system is plus sin is 0 and exponent is All ones followed by a zero. That means five ones, one, two, three, four, five, followed by a zero. Because if I write, I write all zeros here, then the value is zero. They are saying e is equal to all ones is not allowed. In this case, the value represented is zero. So the biggest number will have this exponent. Let us see what is this number. It will be sixty-two. Okay. and if the represented value is 62 actual exponent will be 62 minus 31 so this comes out to be 31 only okay so the biggest number will have a exponent of 31 in mantissa there will be all ones okay so what will be the biggest value it is plus 1 point all ones 2 4 6 8 and 9 so we have one point all ones means nine ones into 2 raised to the power 31 this is the biggest number now what will be this is this number what is this number that means number one less than this see don't change this exponent because by reducing exponent we'll affect this value by a very big factor okay we don't want to reduce the exponent we want to reduce the mantissa So just reduce this mantissa by one. So it is one 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 zero. This value will be this one. Okay. So n two two raised to the power thirty one is as it is. So this is the biggest number, and this one is the number one smaller than that. If we want the maximum difference between any two consecutive real numbers, that is this. Okay. So just subtract these two numbers. subtract them this 2 raised to the power 31 can be taken as common so 2 raised to the power 31 will be there in the answer also if you subtract them you are going to get 0.8 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then this one is as it is okay what is this number let us just convert it into decimal number system So weight here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is ninth bit. That means value of this number is going to be two raised to the power minus nine into one, and this is copied as it is. Okay, just solve it. It comes out to be two raised to the power thirty-one minus nine. So this will be twenty-two. Yeah. It is two raised to the power twenty-two. Let me see if it's present in the options. 
ऑप्शन सी इज टू रेस टू दी पार ट्वेंटी टू विच इज योर आंसर इन दिस केस ओके वॉट इट मीन्स सी इफ यू आर करंटली रिप्रेजेंटिंग दिस नंबर द नेक्स्ट नंबर इज गोइंग टू बी दिस मच मोर देन द करंट नंबर ओके सो दैट्स अ वेरी बिग डिफरेंस टू रेज टू दी पार ट्वेंटी टू विल बी अ वेरी बिग वैल्यू ओके सो देर इज अ ह्यूज गैप बिटवीन लास्ट एंड सेकेंड लास्ट नंबर ओके so i think most of you have noticed one point if you haven't let me help you see it is not mandatory that you have to take these two numbers only you can consider these two numbers also difference between all those numbers is going to be maximum whose exponent is 2 raised to the power 31 okay that means it is not necessary that mantissa must be this value exponent must be 2 raised to the power 31 the numbers must be consecutive but it's not necessary they must be last two numbers you can take these numbers also okay these two are consecutive numbers with the exponent is equal to 31 now their difference will be this value only okay because they are consecutive and exponent is anyways 31 so answer is 2 raised to the power 22 that means for last many numbers difference will be this much it is maximum value okay so we need not consider only these two see you can consider any any value you can just take all zeros also okay so just take all zeros here and the other number can be 1.0000000001 still the difference is this much anyways the numbers are consecutive so difference is going to be 0.00000 so on one okay so this is the answer